My name is James Artemis. Uh, when I left the military, I was at E4P. I was in the Army. I had two MOSs. One was a uh, light wheel mechanic, but my primary MOS was combat engineer 12 Bravo, demolition specialist and bridge work we did. I've been in Van Haven for five months now. It was uh, April 12th. And uh, since I've been here, man, I had a lot of support. I had a lot of things going on in my life, uh, personal. And uh, I had a lot of important paperwork that I needed to get done. And I was able to accomplish that since I've been here. So I had a lot of ups and downs in my life over the since I've been out the service. And uh, recently, I had a, somebody close to me, my daughter, and some other people that passed away. And then I had paperwork that I wanted to get done for a long time. And I just knew that it was in the back of my mind and I wanted to get it done. And then I had my PTSD issues that I was suffering from was acting up real bad. And I had issues when, uh, over in Philadelphia and I was able to come here to get away from all of the, the problems that I had and I had a focus on getting to where I needed to get to and incre increasing my financial status. And, uh, and when I got here, I, I, I really needed organization and the organization was here. And when I have the appointments with the case manager every week, it helps keep me focused on everything that I needed to do. And I thought that I was going to take a long time to get a lot of things done because I had so it was just so hard to keep the appointments and all. But once I got that support with the uh, staff behind me and making sure that I made my appointments, making sure I got to the appointments, and that, any other th support that I need that I know was there, it just helped me get right along to what I needed to get done. Well, my main goal is to have a very suitable place to stay that's safe. I come from an environment where there was a lot of uh, street violence on a normal basis over in Philadelphia. So one of the things I was looking forward to is, is transitioning into New Jersey and, and doing it the right way. And since I've been here, I've been able to get things done the right way, which was very important to me. What's the right way? Well, the right way is to not be taking shortcuts, staying in, uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul, staying in places that's not safe, primarily. Well, I recommend that a person just slow down wherever they at and take a look at the options that this place uh, have. And uh, my personal experience with getting here also feels somewhat of a, a spiritual awakening. So if there's somebody out there that's going through something that need a certain kind of help in their in they life, they need to slow down, say their prayer, and look and see what this place has to offer and give it a try. Well, I believe that this great nation we belong to needs to be protected. And, and uh, I think that if you come through a program like this, that you should really be thankful to be American because uh, the support that we receive here and the support that I plan on giving anyone else when I leave here because of what was, what was done for me, you know, and, uh, you know, I just plan on, uh, I just hope that uh, somebody else can take advantage of this program like I did, you know, and the only thing I could say is, you know, wherever you're at in life, take a look at it and give this place a try if you need it. It works. So the staff has been excellent. I can't, uh, I, I, I mean, I can't thank the staff enough. Uh, Christina, Kyra, it's a, everyone here that works here has been doing over the top to try to help you to succeed in whatever it is that you need to be done. And I know everybody probably come here with different agendas, 
Some of them are similar. However, uh, everything that I needed to get done, I have somebody working and I have somebody to turn to to help me to work on whatever it is that I'm doing.